the little engine that could, by Watty Piper, narrated by Manus Manoj. Chuck, 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 puff, 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 ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train, for she had such a jolly load to carry. Her cars were filled full of good things for boys and girls. They were toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. Then there were dolls, dolls with blue eyes and yellow curls, dolls with brown eyes and brown bobbed heads, and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. And there were cars full of toy engines, airplane tops, jackknives, picture puzzles, books, and Every kind of thing boys or girls would want, but that was not all. Some of the cars were filled with all sorts of good things for boys and girls to eat: big golden oranges, red cheeked apples, bottles of creamy milk for their breakfast. Fresh spinach for their dinners, peppermint drops, and lollipops for after meal treats. The little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the good little boys and girls on the. Other side of the mountain, he puffed along merrily. Then all of a sudden, she stopped with a jerk, and she simply could not go another inch. She tried and she tried, but her wheels would not turn. What were all those? Good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain going to do without the wonderful toys to play with and the good food to eat. Here comes a shiny new engine," said the funny little clown, who jumped out of the train. "Let us ask him to help us." So all the dolls. And toys cried out together. Please, shiny new engine, won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the shiny new engine snorted. I pull you. I am a passenger engine. I have just carried a fine big train over the mountain with more cars than you ever dreamed of. My train had sleeping cars with comfortable birds. A Dining car where waiters bring whatever hungry people want to eat, and parlor cars which people sit in soft armchairs and look out of big plate glass windows. I pull the likes of you, indeed not. And off he steamed to the roundhouse, where engines live when they are not busy. How sad! The little train and all the dolls and toys felt. Then the little clown called out, "The passenger engine is not the only one in the world 
Here is another engine coming. A great, big, strong one. Let us him to help us. The little toy clown waved his flag, and the big, strong engine came to a stop. Please, oh please, big engine! cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the good little boys and girls on the other side would have any toys to play with, or good food to eat, unless you help us. But. The big strong engine blowed. I'm a fright engine. I have just pulled a big train loaded with big machines over the mountain. These machines spin books and newspapers for grown-ups to read. I'm a very important engine, indeed. I won't put the likes of you. And the fright engine puffed off indignantly to the roundhouse. The little train and all the dolls and toys were very sad. 